What's up agents, it's Chase and J. Miles. And for those of you who don't know me, I am a real estate agent here in Dallas, Texas. As of today, I have been licensed going on eight years. I've hit a few milestones in my business and I'm certainly proud of those. But in this video, I want to tell you about my sales that I did my second year in the business. So I released a video previously talking about my first year as a real estate agent and how much money I made and as you know from that video it wasn't much I'll link that video in the cards and in the description but I figured that I should probably do a follow-up video to show you how it turned around a little bit my second year in the business and the sales that I did so I have those right here and I'm going to go through each of them and tell you the price point of the property and then how much was the commission on it so that way you can see how I did my second year as a real estate agent which was almost six years ago. So after I had that breakdown that I talked about in the other video and I started to gain traction in my real estate business that second year after not making much money my first year as a real estate agent, the first property that I sold my second year, it was $215,000 even and I ended up making a commission of $6,450 on that deal. After that one came another deal that one was $235,000 so the commission on that property came out to $7,050. So you know I was, I was going a little bit. Then I ended up selling a property for $115,000 so it was less than the previous properties that I sold but I, I was taking anything that I can get. I was a newer real estate agent and I wanted to make money. So that was $115,000. The commission on that one came out to $3,450. And now keep in mind, like these weren't happening back to back. They were progressing. So it, it could be one, one month and then nothing the next month and then two the month after that and then nothing. So I don't really remember the exact dates that these happened, but I know they weren't back to back because all the money that I was making making was pretty much still going to bills and trying to grow my real estate business. So after that one, I sold a property that was $128,000. The commission on that one came out to $3,840. So we're still in that 3% commission. I hadn't really graduated to earning 4 and 5% on commissions or anything like that yet. So I was still making 3% per deal. After that one came my largest deal that I had did in my real estate business and I got it from an open house. I ended up selling that one for $499,000. So the commission on that one was $14,970. Now for that one, since it was was my first larger deal I was working with another agent on it so I did have to split some of the money with him it wasn't just completely halfway down the line I still got a majority of it but I didn't take that whole fourteen thousand dollars home I think I took like eleven thousand something like that so I did pay for the help that I got on that deal after that one I went way back down to a property for sixty nine thousand dollars so not even hitting a hundred but I will say the property that I sold for $69,000 I've worked with that same client four times and I have sold and helped them buy four different properties in these eight years that I've been a real estate agent so don't knock the properties just because they're small because you don't know what they could do for you in the future the total commission on that one was $2,070 so after my split I, I got a lot less than that but it was fine from there, my final property that I sold my second year as a real estate agent was for $207,000 and I ended up getting the commission of $6,210. Those were all of my sales for my year two as a real estate agent. So the sales totaled out to $1,261,207. That was my total production for year two as a real estate agent, which
which was pretty average. The GCI on that or the gross commission income was $37,000 $836.27. So that's the number that was before the actual broker splits. Now during this time, I had changed brokerages from one broker to another. So I went from a broker that I was getting a 75-25 split and then there was like other fees on top of that. And then I went to a 100% broker where I was getting a 100% split and I was just paying in a transaction fee. So I don't know the true breakdown as far as what the split goes but I want to say it was between 30 and $32,000 that I made my second year of real estate and this was before taxes and all that kind of stuff so you can see a significant jump and that's kind of the average amount that real estate agents make year over year but I would say that's when the snowball effect happened so out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of seven deals my second year, it quickly turned to doing like 25 deals and more and more and more the years after. So keep hope alive. If it's a slow year for you and it's your first year in real estate, keep doing what you're doing and working hard at it because it can definitely turn around.